Mike Jackson has had a bizarre UFC career. Much of it doesn't make any sense. He made it into the UFC, the highest level of MMA with no MMA fights. Then he loses that UFC fight in 45 seconds, but he still gets another UFC fight. He wins an extremely lopsided decision against CM Punk, but is berated by Dana White for his performance. And Dana promises that Jackson will never, ever fight in the UFC again. And in Jackson's next UFC fight, he takes on prospect Dean Barry. And Jackson is a colossal underdog, but Barry can't seem to land any of the wild shots he's throwing at Jackson. Instead, he lands a spinning back kick to the groin, another groin shot. He lands a couple good shots, but then eye gouges Jackson and loses the fight by DQ. So Jackson won two fights in a row, but the other one was turned into a no contest due to weed. So now Jackson has three MMA fights, all in the UFC. He had a loss in 45 seconds, a win which was turned into a no contest, and a fight where he looked like it was going to be a sure loss than a no contest but ends up being a DQ win. So if you did a ranking, Jackson would probably be the very worst fighter in the UFC roster but he's actually been in the UFC for over six years now which is a lot longer than many of the fighters in the UFC right now. It's really hard to make it in the UFC but Jackson did it with zero MMA fights and not only did he make it, he has lasted for over a half dozen years.